Yep, I'm at the top. I made it. A lot of people ask me why I do what I do, why I visit locations and, and, and seek out sometimes the craziest places to take photographs, whether it be the highest hill with the awkward angle. And I suppose it's to get that shot, to get that composition, to, to show the viewer of the picture of where I've been, what I have experienced. Now they'll, unless they come here, they'll never experience the burning sensation in the calf muscles and the out of breath and carrying sometimes that 25 kilo bag with all the stuff and the hat, the gloves and the jackets and the waterproofs, you know, the wind in your face that burns sometimes, it's so cold, you know, unless you come here and experience that you'll never know, but looking through our photographs you get to just experience that small fraction of what we go through. Now I've climbed this hill in this valley, which I'm sure the kids, well I know the kids in the valley come up here and play when they were younger and phew, that's a hard trek to be doing. When kids are younger they can do it. But to come up here and visualise what you see up here makes it worth it. And as I come to this highest point here, Tonight the clouds are looking really dark and I don't think they're going to break. But to come right down and round, and there's a valley down there. I call it a valley, it's a fjord, Sandvik, the village. And you can see over here the other fjords that go right out and then come right round the one there. The very spiral coming in. And right round. But to walk up here and experience this is something I wanted to do for three and a half years. Since I first came to this island, came to this village, this is where I wanted to come. I wanted to come up here. And that walk was hard, but it was worth it. So just below me, as I said before, we've got the village of Sandvik and each fjord that heads over to the back. Quite hard to see in the video, but right over there is the highest peak on the, the island, Suroi. And just below that peak is the village of Sumba. Sumba has the southernmost point of the Faroe Islands. From there to Shetland in Scotland, you're around 200 to 250 kilometers. So we're not that far away from the Faroes and Scotland. They're, they're a hop, skip and jump really. Being here in the Faroes, it feels big. The place feels massive. When you drive somewhere, it feels like it takes ages to get anywhere. But really, they're so close together. They really are just so close together. And when you get to this perspective and this high up, that's when you visualize just how close everything is. I love it. The best thing about coming out to these locations now situation might not be the best of photographs. We might not get that golden hour of photographs. We might get a blue hour. But it's to come up here and experience this location. To visualise how the sun's going to rise over this way. How the sun's going to set over behind me here. Where the light's going to hit. Where could the light hit? What will it light up? Visualise this. And go home and plan it. So I know what times of year to come to photograph you know, down here, and when the light's gonna shine up this whole sign, side here where the sun sets, it's to come up and just see it. Visualizing the best part, you know? What if, where's it gonna be, how's it gonna be? You know, I'm waiting and coming up each time to see what we're gonna get. 
the best part of photography. It's planning, it's experiencing. I might walk away today with no photographs, but it's more the point of the experience of coming up here and, and, and seeing what there is to offer. Yeah. So I'm now gonna set up the camera, grab a quick coffee, see what it's gonna give us and how, how it's gonna pan out today. So found the composition. It's been a bit of a struggle. Started up quite high up. I'm slowly working my way back down. And this is what I really want to show. I really want to show this angle here, the composition of the mountain going off to the right, the highest peak at the top. I kind of feel it's a bit like a turtle or a terrapin or a, you know something something along the shell is just mound here, and that's its head just sticking out there. So that's kind of what I'm trying to show. It's either that or I'm a little bit delirious with the cold, but. This is what my composition is. I started up high looking down onto it and felt that I wanted to come down low and almost look up onto it. And that way I might get that perspective that it's big, it's big and it's wide. And having that snow all on one side as well, I really like. Out to the back are starting to look quite dramatic. Just behind me, I can start seeing some pink in the uh, clouds as well. So we might get something a bit of orange coming up here moving quite fast so it could clear. So I've just come off the top of the hill where it was exceptionally windy, very cold, uh, drifting in and out of what felt like hailstones to be honest, but I think it was just snow and the strong winds. Fortunately, all the positions or the compositions that I wanted to get, the wind was just so intense, so strong, causing the camera to shake. When you're shooting down to tenth of a second, half a second, one second, and even with a tripod and my backpack weighing down my tripod still wasn't good enough and the camera was shaking so the pictures were coming out very blurry. Eventually I found a nice little kind of nook to get into and get the camera settled but unfortunately um, uh, the composition just, just wasn't, wasn't great. Played around with some long exposures of two minutes uh, with the way that the clouds are moving that came out really good I think converting into black and white uh, so might get something out of that. I'm not disappointed, you know, this wasn't really for me to get an amazing shots, this was me to visit the location, scout around, see what's available, kind of get a rough idea of where I think light's gonna hit at certain times of the day. Um, so it's pretty good, so I'm now gonna head back, back down to the village, down here. Light's fading quite fast. I'm gonna get a strong cup of coffee and some dinner. Yeah. Let's see clear out 